Hello my fellow menaces to society, it's Rain. Before this video starts, just want to plug the Discord like always, we do some fun stuff there, and say that as the rank 1 Jerboa plapper in the community, I was surprised Dorothy didn't win. But I'm happy to get to talk about Flametail. So in the beginning, she was just a normal kid. Going to school, doing menial labor, shouting slurs on Call of Duty, and eating fruit snacks, which still absolutely bop to this day, and if anyone tells me otherwise, I'll have them dragged out in the street and shot. Back to Gamer Squirrel. Her home gets fucked harder than Exy after being locked in a room with a slug. She eventually makes her way into a city and lives the epic industrial revolution worker life. AKA, she's poor as fuck, works in whatever hellscape she can find, and spends a penny a night to sleep slumped over a rope. Yeah, that's a real thing from 1800s London. Doesn't that just look wonderful? Real hipster hotel idea. Eventually, the mobile city she was on gets connected to the big daddy of Kashmir's, where Sona has a sudden realization. Being a knight, make money. Become knight, mean have more money. However, before she can begin her Sigma female lifestyle, it turns out living comfortably as an affected knight is about as easy as getting elected Prime Minister of Japan as a black dude from Chicago. They get put through the physical embodiment of accounting, large stretches of misery punctuated by extreme pain and suffering. She eventually meets Ashlock there, and the Nuts family were the ones in charge of her original home and the catastrophe that annihilated it got that far thanks to their negligence, so you can imagine how she probably felt when they first met. But hey, this one likes her, and Sona needs friends. Although maybe she likes her a little too much. Sona, help, I can't sleep. Why did you come to the laundry room? Can I use your laundry as a pillow? What the fuck? She meets Fartooth, a bird who glitches into walls randomly, and Wildmane, a Karanta known for ability to make giant Subway sandwiches and for having the brain function of an unpeeled banana. Together with them, she founds the nightclub with the funny name, as they're constantly being hunted down by the government, as well as Platinum and the Funky Bunch. And to cope with the stress, she becomes a gamer, and vents by playing League of Legends and calling other players, oh wow, son, I, I don't think I can say that. Now we've finally gotten up to when she first shows up in the game, and it's when based Sona shows up to watch Blemish Shine, say she's trash compared to her sister, refuse to elaborate, and leaves. She does also end up fighting her in the Fortnite-sponsored Battle Royale section of the Major. I need to win for, like, family noble titles and, uh, stuff. Tell me something, rich kid. You ever need to fight off a giant pissed-off Mr. Krabs cosplayer with only an empty can of Pringles and a paperclip? N no Yeah, that's what I thought. You're trash. You're fucking dog water. Your only purpose is to be up in my chat, licking my cu- <laughs> Ah, shit. I'm sorry. I was playing League before the match. Don't cry. I got a $19 Fortnite card. <laughs> Thank you. My uncle's playing it when he gets home from work. I ask him how his day has been, and he always tells me. Silence, wench. The battle bus calls to me. Now after that we go into the events of Near Light, where the Plastic Man, purveyor of cold hard apathy, and the death of a nameless NPC happen. Now Sona has a plan. Well, this slaveholder, uh, sorry, good NPC, has one using Pina Silvestris to dick with the KGCC, who currently hold most of the power over Kashmir's and the Armorless Union, their secret police. So after they plan out their operation, Sona breaks into a corporate server building and gets USBs full of a bunch of information they need with the exciting accounting information. Woo! They're keeping their books wrong! They're not following gap principles! And the much less interesting doxing of the armorless union. Boo! Addresses are cringe! She gets trapped in a dark room in the building and jumps off, landing butt first on Ashlock, who probably enjoyed it greatly. She's then confronted by Roy, who appreciates the fuck it we ball aura she exuded with the jump off, but still wants that drive. He's charismatic enough that Sona actually considers giving it to him for a moment before realizing, wait a minute, these are the secret police people who were sent to exterminate us. Maybe we shouldn't take them at their word. Funnily enough, it turns out as we see in post-event material that he wasn't lying, and honestly Roy kind of wins. 
He gets to leave the armorless union job he didn't like and live a new comfortable life with bitchy cat girl GF. Back to the thermal squirrel, Flametail takes the USB back to isekai Robert E. Lee, and she reveals to the audience that Pine and Sylvestris are essentially NCAA athletes before NIL deals, as they put their bodies on the line and even to potentially near-death injury just for some pieces of paper with their names on them. Turns out, those won't even be useful, as after everything that happens in near light, most of the Grand Knight territory hates the infected. After that all wraps up, Neural offers Pine and Sylvestris work with Rhodes, and Sona spends a while thinking about how, in a way, Leaving would be giving up on her dream for the nightclub and admitting defeat. But the other members give her a friend group pep talk, which is just precious. After all, without the friend group leader, how will they know how to get anything done? Now on board Rhodes, Flametail works on missions and jobs related to Kashmir's and still does a lot to help the infected there. Never forget where you came from, I suppose. What's she doing right now? Oh my god, why are we fighting this? I get no peel ever! It's impossible, four Karanta can't win. God, they're all so fucking stupid! I'll Don't worry, Heavy Rain, she doesn't mean it. Sona gets like this herself. when she plays games Rope sometimes. $10 at Home Depot. It's just wonderful. <laughs> oh, I fucking love that meme. <laughs> it's just... It's just really... It's just wonderful. Brenda. Disregard your overall statements. Rawr! Your mother hung herself!